Hello everyone, this is Glenn Irvin, and this is a quick tutorial about a website called Zaption. It's a great tool, especially if you use videos in class. You want to show a video, uh, but you want to keep your students engaged. It can be a flipped video, it can just be a video you have uh, from the internet. And you want students to be able to answer questions, or to be able to get more information about something, or to be able to give their opinion about different uh, items as far as in your class super great for that there's other websites like Zaption like the TED Ed is one of them that I know I've used before in the past it seems that Zaption is a little bit easier to use uh, collects good data and the free version is actually pretty good um, so I'm gonna press login here and you can actually sign up with any of these you know Facebook Google or whatever it might be or just your email and password I'm just gonna sign in with Google I've already created an account and um, what's gonna happen is anything you've created in the past is gonna be in this middle thing Zaption uses a term called tours. Basically, tours is a video that has been edited by you. Uh, you've placed elements inside of the video. Let's press new tour here. And what we're going to do is says, hey, what, we need to find a video. You can type in a keyword here. Like I'm going to put time in Spanish because that's what my video is going to be about. And it just starts finding me every video here on YouTube that says time in Spanish from YouTube or Vimeo. PBS, National Geographic, even more sites here. I actually have a specific link to a video that I created, so that's the one that I want. And here it is, que hora es? And so I'm going to add this video to my tour. Super simple. And what happens is now my video has been placed on a timeline here. As you can see here, I'm playing in the background there, so it's at a timeline. And what I can do is I can add different elements up here into the video. So let's take a, talk about the elements themselves. There's a text slide I could add in, and I could put in here. It just, just gives more information about a specific thing on the screen. For example, if I wanted to remind the students that que hora es uh, means what time is it. If I wanted to add other information just to give the students something about, you know, thing. And right here it tells me this is how long it's going to last. It's going to last for three seconds on the screen, uh, what I actually put in there. There's other things I can add as I go through. I can pick specific images right here, and I can throw an image inside of here. And I can just uh, browse images from my computer. I'll just throw a random image in there. How about this Battle of Puebla? Um, and it could be an image specifically related to whatever's actually happening here. So that's kind of a cool thing. It'll still play, okay? This part, the information will still play, and this part of the image will still play, but they'll have the image on the right and the video here to be able to kind of uh, see a couple of things, maybe add another different element there. Now, there's other things in here that I can do. I can add a drawing thing, which I don't usually do, uh, but you can do that, especially with the iPad. It would be very useful. Um, but here's a great question, an open response question. So here you just type in the question up here. Um, how do you say it's 3 p.m.? And they can have to actually type in an actual response there. Super easy. And what it does, it ends up pausing the video right at that point in time. And then they submit a response to that question. You can have other types of questions. I'm going to fast forward here a little bit. Uh, and we can have multiple choice questions. If I say like uh, 3 p.m. and then right here I say son las 3 de la tarde would be one response. And then let's say son las 2 de la tarde. It's 2 o'clock. So it's my other response. And I can say right here, I can tell them, hey, that's correct. I can even give them some feedback like exactly right. Exactly. I can't just spell today. Exactly. Uh, or this one. No, try again. So you can give them some feedback that way, correct and incorrect. Did I choose correct on that one? Yep, I did. Good. So we have that there, and it'll pause the video on that specific part so that they have to give feedback in there. It ends up collecting all of the feedback, and I'll show you in just a sec, uh, as questions, as each one. Now, with the paid version, you can download all of those things in a CSV file, which is, I suppose, kind of nice. But just to, to have the students more engaged, I think this is just great. Uh, there's uh, open response. There's multiple choice. There's just one where you can just mark check boxes, which will let's go ahead and do that too. Here's one with the check marks. I'll drop it in there, and you can just say, um, "What's the correct 
answer if there was a question that was posed in the video itself and then a check they could actually mark the little check marks there and there whichever one might be one o'clock or two o'clock which one is the correct answer and then they get to mark whichever one of the two okay and you go through your whole video once you're ready you can just press publish and I'm gonna go ahead and publish right now and I haven't given it a title so I'm gonna give it a title que hora es sample we're gonna call it and I'm gonna publish it and then now my video is ready to go let's go ahead and just play it just so we can kind of see what's going on here my video is playing in the background que hora es and here is my que hora es means what time is it so there's my thing here's my image is gonna pop up over here on the right here's the first question that's gonna come up it stops the video perfect how do you say it's 3 p.m. the students type in a response here and they press submit okay you can get the analytics of each one of the things to be able to kind of figure out okay what did that students actually say uh, it says one uh, viewer has a thing we can look at the responses of each of the different questions that I posed okay so I can get the analytics there it even tells me how long students have viewed it uh, the video which is awesome 11 seconds of viewing time probably not very good for this specific video so that's really cool too uh, once we're ready let's go back to the tour itself view tour uh, and we're gonna press share uh, let's say resume I'm gonna press share here and what we'll be able to do is just click uh, click uh, this link here I'm gonna just copy it copy this link or you can embed it if you're into uh, embedding this into a specific assignment but I'm gonna go ahead and just click this link and copy it go over here into uh, Schoology and then just put the link in here and then the students all they have to do and I'm just gonna press create then the students all they have to do let's find that assignment is click on that specific link and it'll take them to the sample to the Zaption let me log off from my account and I'll show you I'll log off que hora es sample Zaption and it'll take them right to here and they can view this not only on a desktop computer as I'm viewing it right now but on their iPads and they can respond on their iPads there too okay uh, I think at the beginning it asks them to go ahead and log in with the username so it'll, it'll uh, make sure that it keeps track of who actually responded to what kind of questions and you can just see whether your students are watching the videos that's the greatest part about this I mean it's great to keep them engaged too with multiple choice and open response questions but just to know that they're viewing uh, you know that the average time as far as the view of the video is 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 what you expect it to be you know if it's three minutes long are they viewing the three minutes um, so anyway if you have questions about how to use Zaption let me know adios hasta la vista